Victor, go ahead and tell me the business idea you have for me. I'm really looking to invest in Nigeria here. Please, before I lavish all my money, I need a lucrative business idea. Trust me, this business idea is very lucrative. In fact, every other business needs this business to survive. Chief, let me start by asking you a question. What is that essential thing that must go with whatever item that you buy? I mean, anything at all that you buy. What is that extra thing that must go with that item? Mm, any item I buy should be well packaged. I mean, imagine buying a loaf of bread and it's not packaged. It will be exposed. The whole world will see what you went to buy. I think packaging is very, very essential when selling or buying stuff. Good. You got it absolutely correctly. No packaging, no buying and selling. And no nylon, no packaging. Every customer wants whatever they buy to be packaged in a nylon so that the whole street would not see what they went to buy. That means that every business person, either big or small, needs to have nylon so as to be able to sell whatever they are selling, which means that nylon production is a very, very lucrative business. When you buy bread, it has to be in nylon. When you buy biscuits, they are packaged in nylon. Even when you buy electronics, nylons are involved. As a matter of fact, here in Nigeria, when you buy a brand new car, people call it tear rubber. Why? Because the seats and the interior are all covered in nylon when it's brand new. Wow, this is a very, very lucrative business idea. Wow, so tell me more about this business. Nylon business is very lucrative. That's why more and more entrepreneurs are going into it. And you know the interesting part, Chief? Nylons don't expire. They are not perishable. They are non-perishable. Unlike people that have chemists or pharmacists who are bothered about expiry dates of their drugs and medications. You don't have such problems with nylons. Okay? So the demand for nylon is very extensive. You know, nylons are used for different purposes, ranging from domestic purposes such as bagging, wrapping, covering, shopping edible and non-edible products to businesses and industrial purposes okay thick nylon forms are used in packaging biscuits large nylons are mostly used by laundry operators and boutique owners to package clothes for clients um victor what about uh, raw materials how do we get raw materials to produce these nylons very good question chief now for the production of nylon you need three basic raw materials number one is the low density polyethylene ldpe chips these ones are used for you know producing those light transparent nylons okay number two you need the high density polyethylene which we call the HDPE chips. This one is for heavier, stronger nylons. Okay? Now, number three, we need the color dye, otherwise called the dyeing pigments. These are readily available in Nigeria and can be easily sourced. For instance, you can get this at the LMA Petrochemical Refinery in River State, and you can also discuss with other local nylon producers about how to get them. Wow, I like your presentation of this business. But you know, this business we need heavy duty equipment. Uh, what about those ones? What equipment do we need for this particular production of nylon? Very brilliant question, Chief. The core machines for nylon production in Nigeria are 1. 
the blowing machine, two, the extruder machine, three, the printing machine, four, the cutting machine, five, the mixer, and six, the recycling machine. But you can make do with the blowing machine, the extruder, and the cutting machine only if you have no need to print anything on the nylons. The mixer and the recycling machine may not necessarily be needed if you're starting small scale. So for small scale startups, you can start with blowing machine, extruder, and cutting machine only. Victor, you are very intelligent. And I'm really impressed about how you have all the details. Very detailed. Okay, let me challenge you a little. Why don't you tell me a little about the production process? You know, if I float this company, I can just make you the manager. <laughs> tell me about the production process. Well, it all depends on the type of bag you want to produce. Now, all the raw materials, be it LDP or HDP, you see, they are blended together. And they are fed into the upper after you have preheated the extruder uh, to the accurate temperatures. So the thin flat plane film coming out from the machine is either treated to make it retain information when printed on, you know, for all those pure water where you write the name of the pure water company. Or it passes through the rollers which rolls it into rolls of various weight, you see, in polythene and other types of bag. The plain thin film is cut into correct length, sealed and punched to provide the handle using cutting and punching machines respectively. The bags are then packed into bundles and stored. Ready for sale. No wahala. Yeah, so basically the production starts here. That is material there inside the funnel. And the material then passes through the barrel. That pipe, that pipe you can see underneath the funnel is where the material passes through. Yes. So this is where the nylon gushes out. You see, it goes all the way up. Yes. And uh, it comes out as a thin film. And it goes all the way down, as you can see. This one that is rolling is called the winder. Okay, collecting the screws of nylon. So this is the process. And um, once we're done here, uh, it will now move to the cutting section. Uh, you see, this is the cutting machine. So this is the cutting machine in action. There's so much background noise where I covered this video, but I'm doing this voiceover so that you can have clarity. You see the nylons being processed and they are lying down. Uh, see, this is how it works, basically. Uh, the cutting machine in action. And um, the whole process is seamless. You see all the processed nylons lying down on the conveyor okay that section is called the conveyor uh that's it so that's the process so this is called uh, the blade that way that place the guy pointed is called the blade that one is the one cutting the nylon okay see that hopper moving on up and down is called sealing bar that's the one the arrow is pointing at it seals the nylon okay. awesome awesome i am interested already I am interested already. So, uh, how much would it cost me to start? I mean, starting with those three essential uh, equipments for small scale. You see the blowing machine, the extruder, and the cutting machine for starters. I want to start with those ones first. And uh, manpower, how many people would I need? And how would these goods be distributed, the marketing side of it? So, give me the information so that I can start immediately. Chief. Forget about marketing. There is a ready market for nylons everywhere. As a matter of fact, the demand for nylon is more than times 10 of the supply. 
So the market is there waiting for you. As for how much you need to start, this video can be watched now or 10 or 50 years time. Any price I give would no longer be relevant in the next 10 years. So I would suggest you contact me privately so that I can give you the obtainable prices of the best equipment for you to start. And as for manpower as well, it depends on the number of equipment that you are buying. So you need to contact me privately for all this information so that you can stay in touch with what is obtainable as at the present time. Hey Victor, Victor, thank you very much for this information. I will contact you via email and also via WhatsApp so that we can work together and start up this awesome, awesome business. Thank you very much, Victor.